Hi, this is Denise from Playful Potter in Sparks, Nevada, and I'm going to be demonstrating how to create a fused glass design using glass line writers as well as frit. This is a very easy project to do. You can use a variety of different types of clip art or designs. Uh, we're doing a sun today. So I printed off my design. I just found this online. Uh, this is actually a tattoo design. Tattoos are great. Uh, you can also use coloring book pages or clip art. Just do a search on Google. You'll find lots of different options. Uh, a simple design works the best, something with very clear outlines. So I sized it correctly on my paper. Now I'm going to put my 8 inch round over the top and get it centered. The nice thing with working with clear glass is I can see the design through it perfectly without having to do a lot of freehand drawing. So now I'm going to be using the glass line to trace. Glass line uh, it can be purchased from a variety of different uh, glass distributors. It comes in a variety of different colors. I like working with the black because with black, um, even if we use transparent glass and it gets a little bit on top of our line, it won't show once the fired product is finished. I think that the glass line bottle is a little bit hard to work with. The metal tip tends to get clogged a lot, so I do rebottle uh, my glass line into another bottle. This is a fun writer from Gare. You can find different um, bottles and tips from your local craft store too. Also when you get the glass line it can be thinned with water. I think it's a little bit thick straight out of the bottle so this is diluted just a tiny bit. Just want a nice consistency that's going to flow well out of the bottle. So I just take my pin out. I always test it first on the paper just to make sure that there's not an air bubble. And now I'm going to trace the entire design. Now that the piece is traced, we're going to allow the glass line to dry completely and then we'll move on to the next step. If you make a mistake with the glass line, rather than trying to take it off while it's wet, we're going to clean it up when it's dry. So if you have a spot that's too thick, like I got kind of a little blob here and here, once it's dry we can take a sharp tool like an X-Acto knife or a clay cleanup tool and we can scratch that excess glass line off. Now that the glass line is dry, I'm going to use a clay cleanup tool to just scratch off some of this excess glass line that's in a place that I don't want it. You can also use a razor blade, X-Acto knife, anything that's sharp that'll scratch that extra off. The good thing with this design is it's, it's kind of organic and funky anyway, so I'm not going to be too worried about cleaning it up. Alright, so now that the glass line is totally dry, we're going to go on to the frit. I am using today transparent yellow, transparent orange, and transparent cherry red. So um, when working with the frit, especially in a small area, rather than just dumping it out or using a spoon, which can be great for larger areas, but small areas can be kind of tough, I just have a straw that I cut on an angle. So it makes a perfect little spoon. So what I'm going to do is just cover my design with the frit. Because I'm using transparent frit, the black glass line will show through. So I'm going to cover the whole design in yellow, and then I'll go back and add details with the other colors. So the center of the design is really easy to do. We don't have to worry too much about getting extra frit outside. When it comes to the edges, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in my rays on my sun, and then I'm going to use a paintbrush to scoot any frit back in that co goes outside of my lines. You can also just sweep it off onto the paper underneath and then put it back into your container too. All right, now that the yellow is all on my design, I'm just going to use that brush and I'm going to clean up all of this excess frit. All 
All right, now that we've got all the excess frit cleaned up around the edges, you'll notice that I haven't glued anything down. We're actually not gonna be gluing the frit at all. We're gonna be setting it with hairspray. So you can set it at this point if you like. If you do set with hairspray now, you just wanna make sure that the rest of it is completely dry before you move on to the next step. I'm gonna go ahead and do the next step now, which is adding some shading and some other colors, and then we'll set it with the hairspray at the end. So to add some shading, what I'm going to do is just use a little bit of the orange and the red to add a little bit of depth to one side of the, of the sunshine. You can add as much or as little as you like. This is just a good way to give a little bit of depth. You can even add some to some of the rays if you like. And don't feel like you have to do this design with just traditional sun colors. Suns look really cool in a rainbow of colors. I always encourage my customers to try colors that may not necessarily be traditional because they can come up with some really cool designs. They're just a little bit different and uniquely their own. So you can see as I'm working with the orange I've gotten a little bit of it outside We'll just use the exact same technique that we did with the yellow and go back and we'll just move that extra frit off of the glass piece so it won't be there when it's done. Just a tiny little bit on the top. All right, so now we're gonna take that brush again and clean everything up.